10 great geniuses in history who were actually very evil people. Contributing to human development, whether through science, art, or any other form of production and recording of knowledge, undoubtedly transforms one into an important person, whose name must always be remembered. However, logically, this does not mean that we are remembering what we usually consider a good person. In fact, among the inevitable names that star in practically the entire history of humanity, those who are also remembered for their benevolence, good character or empathy, are actually the fewest, while the least pleasant people are the most abundant among the geniuses who have made the world we live in today. Artists, politicians, philosophers, scientists of all kinds, inventors and others. It is not a novelty. We all know that it was, is and will be. But here we leave you just a few examples that are very little known. These are 10 great geniuses in history who were actually very evil people. You'll be surprised. Number 10. Bobby Fischer The greatest chess player of all time had a brilliant mind, but in the kindness department he was pretty lacking. Bobby Fischer became famous for crushing his rivals in chess, showing amazing logical ability and unique mental dexterity. But he also praised such deplorable events as the attack on the Twin Towers on September 11, 2001, as well as being a declared anti-Semitic, a person full of hate. Number 9. Aristotle The man on whom the theories of many sciences are based was more than generous in giving so much knowledge and an incredible legacy to history, but he also had a dark side. Aristotle was a misogynist, a name given to people who hate women. According to him, the woman existed to be a servant of the man, who should be given less food, and whom he described as an incomplete human version. Lots of philosophy, mutt, and knowledge, but in today's world, Aristotle would be considered a big jerk. Number 8. Isaac Newton The father of the law of universal gravitation attributed to himself what did not belong to him, which in the eyes of anyone makes him a wretch. Although Newton developed the mathematics behind the force of gravity, the originator of the idea was Robert Hooke, who, exactly, nobody knows about his life, since Newton dedicated himself to ruining it and sinking it. He not only denied him the credit that belonged to him, but frequently insulted him in his writings. His hatred against Hooke was so great that, after Hooke's death, he destroyed the only portrait he had of his worst enemy. Number 7. John Lennon He invited us to imagine a world in which we would live in peace and happiness, but John Lennon was not exactly a saint, especially in his love relationships. Lennon used to hit women and not only brutally assaulted them, but he bragged about it, as an interview with him by Playboy magazine shows. Thanks to his fame, his violent character does not appear in the story. Number 6. Thomas Edison Well, this may not be the most surprising, but it has been so revered for so long, its mean and malicious character is always worth remembering. Famous for his inventions, Thomas Edison was a highly respected man, but that did not mean that he respected the work of others, as he simply stole them and presented them as his own. One of his main victims was Nikola Tesla. Edison was not only an intellectual thief, but he was also a very cruel guy to animals, to the point that he even killed several puppy dogs to test the power of his inventions and even electrocuted an elephant to give Tesla a bad reputation. Today he would be persecuted by Peter. Number 5. Nikola Tesla As much as it pains us to admit it, Nikola was also an unpleasant person, and it is not bad to accept it. Because, as it happens in each and every one of these cases, nobody is born to do evil. Nikola Tesla was a strong advocate of eugenics, a practice in which the best humans to procreate are selected, leaving out the undesirables in pursuit of the creation of a superior human race. Tesla had self-esteem problems. He never married or had children and perhaps his high demands on him, as well as his inability to put himself in the place of others, were some of the factors that did not allow him. Number 4. Virginia Woolf 
one of the most important writers in history, there is no doubt about it. She carried the name of the woman high in an industry dominated by Marchismo. She seems admirable, but even so, Virginia Woolf was a highly elitist person, to the point of openly discriminating against those she considered to be of a lower social class. For Woolf, there was a higher social class that had the right to lounge around and read her books. On the other hand, there was the servitude. After her death, her journals were found, in which she speaks of contempt for domestic stuff and how the working class was inherently stupid. Number 3. Gustave Flaubert The author of the canonical Madame Bovary and one of the greatest novelists in history was a very complex artist, always obsessive in achieving perfection in his works and for him no aesthetic or artistic aspect could be neglected. Of course this is not wrong, but the fact is that, on the other hand, the retailer Gustave Flaubert was a pedophile and child molester who often paid for sex with children. If there is anything more despicable than that, I don't know. Number 2. James Cameron Yes, the most out of place in the list, it is not comparable to any other, but because it is contemporary, it was worth including it. The famous director with films like Titanic, Terminator, and Avatar, among others. He seems to turn every film production that falls into his hands into gold, but his great talent is accompanied by an ego that is still very larger. James Cameron has no censorship in seeing the rest with inferiority. Famous is his phrase, anyone can be a good father or husband, but only five people in the world can do what I do, and I prefer that. Now I understand why he was divorced four times. Number 1. Richard Wagner An indisputable musical talent who gave us great symphonies and operas, but he was also a despicable human being. The exceptional Richard Wagner was a recognized deeply racist anti-Semite, being one of the great inspirations for Hitler, who considered him a great friend and an icon for the nefarious German nationalism. For him, Western society was condemned by miscegenation. As if that wasn't enough, Wagner was mentored by another musical genius, Franz Liszt. Wagner had a relationship with Liszt's married daughter, who secretly fathered two of her children while she was still with her husband. As you will understand, Liszt was not happy. As you can see, geniuses can be as bad as any other person. Even worse thanks to the influence they have on people, the ego, and above all things, power. As demonstrated by these ten great geniuses of history, that they were wicked. Which of these undisputed geniuses surprised you the most? Leave us your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Beautiful Minds for more interesting videos. See you soon.